Well, hello, my friends, and welcome to Franconia, Arizona. And we're at Franconia Road. It's basically a railroad stop. There's a railroad tracks behind me here where my truck's parked. But uh, these are pretty busy tracks. You don't want to monkey around too much. This is where we're going to hunt. Today we're hunting meteorites. It's a lot like hunting gold, but we're looking for meteorites. And they're just laying in this desert pavement in this area. Geez, I found, I don't even know, I can't even count the number of them I found here. I haven't been here for about 10 years to hunt. So hopefully there's still a few left. And I'm going to get with it. And welcome to my Nugget Shooter Journals, but today it's a Meteorite Hunter Journals. So here we go. I'll get with you when I get a target. Well, this is the type of terrain I'm hunting. Sorry about the wind, it's windy today. But yeah, everything looks like a meteorite. These big pieces of basalt. And they're hot. I mean, when I go over those with a detector, they're hot. So I gotta hunt in between them all. They're hot. So I'm just listening for good signals amongst all this rubble. And yeah, I found meteorites here before. And I figure if I hunt long enough and hard enough, I'll find one. I'm going to hunt another hour and then maybe go get Tammy and see if she wants to come up here and hunt a little bit. I might bring back a pulse induction so I don't have to hear the uh, hot rocks is bad. That's what I might do. So anyway, I'm going to hunt a little while longer with the gold monster and see how I do. I've got the bigger coil on, as you see. Cover a little more ground. But boo wee this stuff's hot. But I don't think the 2300 or the... Uh, 7,000 will have much trouble up here and I might come back up here later and just try that out. Okie dokie, looky what I got. This my friends, is a meteorite. A small piece, you can see it's smooth. And the main thing is, is when you find something, it sounds right and everything, it's gotta be magnetic out here, okay? And watch this. Okay, it's very magnetic. Jump right out of my hand. Jumps right out of my hand. It's so magnetic. That is a piece of uh, Franconian meteorite, my friends. Doesn't look like much, but if I polish it right there, it'd show metal flecks in there, nickel, nickel iron. Very cool. You can see a little fusion crust on there. I'm jazzed. I'm jazzed. Got one. Okay, and there's all kinds of chalcedony here. This place is just a trip. Um, you can see it all over the ground here. It's quartz. There's also a lot of chalcedony in here. And some of it's pretty cool, like this one. Let me see if I can get it out of my pocket. I got two of them here that are pretty neat. This one's actually got some red in it. And this one's kind of a desert rose looking affair. Pretty cool. They're laying all over up here. But by golly, I got me a meteorite. And I'm pretty darn happy about that. And I'm going to see if I can't get a couple more before I head back to camp and get Tammy. Woot woot. Hi, I'm Bill Southern. Welcome to my Nugget Shooter Journals. We're fixing to go back out meteorite hunting. Today, I brought the SDC 2300 with me. And I'm thinking that's going to be a little less noisy out here than the Gold Monster was. The VLFs have a harder time with hot rocks than pulse induction it does. So... We're going to try the SDC today. I got one meteorite last trip, yesterday, and we're going to try for a couple more today with the SDC and maybe pick up some agates to take home and tumble. I'm just having a blast. So here we go. Well, it looks like the 2300 is going to do the trick. Watch this. And that's a piece of meteorite, a little fragment. But yes, indeed, a piece of meteorite. And, once again, they're always magnetic. Yeah, watch, boom, boom. Yeah, how about that? STC 2300, I'm not hearing even a half a, I mean, not even, probably not even 20% of the hot rocks I heard before. Some of the big pieces of basalt are still hot, but they have an odd sound. So I'm able to work around them real easy. Let's hope for some good stuff today. Now we're talking, look at this. I just hit it with my pick. Hear that? That, my friends, is a very nice meteorite. 
and you can see it was sitting with this much of it exposed. And they sit right on the surface for the most part here. Every now and then we dig some that are in looser material. Boy, look at that though. That's a beauty right there. Yeah, that is a beauty right there, my friends. That is a Franconia chondrite. You can actually see the little bumps of metal in there. What an amazing find. 4.5 billion years old. That's a couple days older than me. What a beauty. That's a nice one. That won't even fit in my jar. That's what I'm talking about. SDT 2300. Kicking meteorite butt in Arizona. Now this one was completely buried. Right up under a rock over here. But it's definitely a meteorite. You can actually see some of the metal shining on this one. I'll clean these up when I get home, but definitely a meteorite. And it was uh, buried pretty good. You can see see the chondrules showing through there? Those little bumps you see on there are chondrules in this thing. And that's one of the ways you can tell what you got. And when I go home today, I'll show you some more on this stuff. And maybe even file a window in one of these for you, which will really blow your mind. But uh, I was in this same general area yesterday with the uh, the gold monster. I got one yesterday, but I was dealing with a lot of noise. This machine's not hearing all that noise. And uh, I found some pretty nice pieces already. Three so far. And uh, one's pretty good size. This one's probably, I don't know, 10, 15 grams or more. Definitely a meteorite. Yes, sir. Definitely a meteorite. This is what we're here for. I'm so fascinated by these things. This one came in pretty big and it blew up as it was coming in the atmosphere and just scattered these all over. Some of the biggest ones were 16, 20 pounds and bigger, I guess. Oh, those are long gone, picked up, but still a lot of these left. Yep, just gotta look. Right here is where that last one came from. Right under the edge of that big piece of basalt. Yep, very cool. Gonna go get some more. This one's down in the dirt a little ways. Now there is trash here, not a lot. It's usually in the form of spring, or I'm sorry, wire from uh, when Patton was training here. And the wires were, had something to do with the ammo they were using. But usually these things are right on top. Whatever's right here is buried a little ways. But that other one was buried, wasn't it? It's right here by this rock. Yeah, it might be a piece of iron. No. This, my friends, okay, this is really cool. Okay, there's two types of meteorites we can find in here. And as these meteorites came into the atmosphere, they were so high in um, nickel iron that it bled off and made these, what are called uh, Franconia irons. This is a Franconia iron meteorite. It's a little bit rusty. And that's why it was down a little bit. Because see, it's got that same basic texture. But this is almost pure nickel iron right here. Most of the stony part is gone. And this came off of it. It was coming in the atmosphere. Or it blew off when they hit. It's hard to say. I'm in a pretty good spot right here. I was hoping to get an iron. And uh, I'll put up where the literature is to this meteorite. It's pretty interesting. And Jim Smaller, um, I mentioned him earlier. But he uh, did the study to prove that these were actually meteorites. And it took him a long time, but finally uh, the powers that be decided it was a meteorite. Now it's listed. Pretty cool, huh? I'm having a good day. Okay, we got another signal right at the base of this big piece of basalt. See, the gold monster was hearing those big pieces of basalt. And this one hears some of them, but listen. Okay, it's right down at the edge here. That sounds like it could be a piece of that wire, but I just dug that little iron here. And the reason I sound like I know what I'm talking about about this stuff is because, well, I do. I was involved in uh, mapping this strewn field along with a bunch of other guys, and we gave our information to Jim. And as a result, this was able to be mapped and classified. And they classified the irons. 
people tried to say in the beginning there parts off the boiler okay I don't have a target anymore you know what that means watch this we either got trash and or a piece of iron what do we got here I don't see anything now I know I heard a target there huh I don't see any wire oh yeah there it is there's a piece of that wire I was talking about right there Okay, off we go. Another small fragment. Okay, from right here. Off we go, having a ball. Funniest thing about meteorites is out here, I think, anyway, it gives me a heck of a chuckle is, uh, remember the old space movies and stuff that were on back in the 50s, 60s, even 70s? And later, they always show you meteorites and they look like this. Yep, they look like that on TV. And if that was the case, this whole area is nothing but meteorites. They're everywhere. And looky here. Yeah, it almost looks like a meteorite. But if you look, they're everywhere. And a lot of that stuff's hot. And I know people have hauled them home before thinking they're probably meteorites. In reality, they look like this. Yep, in reality, that's what they look like. Yeah, it's pretty typical of the crust on this thing, of a chondrite. I believe this one's an L4. I'll have to look, but I'm pretty sure it is. But yeah, pretty cool. So I got a couple more smaller ones too. And I'm going to keep at it for a little bit more and call it a day. It's been a good hunt, my friends. It's been a good hunt. I'm jazzed. Well, today was sure a lot of fun. I'm back at camp, and uh, here's my finds for today. Isn't that nice? This is a good one here. I haven't weighed it, but that's a good one right there. Another good sized one. And then we got three more fragments and an iron. That's a good hunt. But I also got a surprise while I was out there. And the surprise is in the form of this the railroad has changed policies out there they used to let us drive up there and then pull way off the tracks and and hunt well they've changed all that now and this isn't an actual ticket it's a warning but it very well could have been a ticket so i'm not going to be going in that way there is another way to go in um, you can go up Franconia Wash and then under the tracks at the, uh, Rick, at the, uh, at the BLM area there. But yeah, nice finds though. There they are in the shade. Very nice finds. They had a good day. So hey, if you like these videos and like going along on these hunts, this one is a little bit different with meteorites. And like I said, we can still get back in there, but they just don't want you along the tracks. The guy was a great guy, just a nice guy. And he just said it simply because of all this Antifa stuff and all the crazy stuff going on. They're worried somebody's going to get out on those tracks and try to derail a train or do something incredibly stupid like that. And I get that. I surely get that. And it's a sad world we live in now where you nobody can trust anybody. And we used to be able to just park right along there. Like I said, as long as we got way off the tracks, it was all good. But they don't want you up in there anymore, so I highly recommend you don't drive in that way. There are other ways in, and uh, that would be your best bet. So, for now, like I said, if you like these videos and you have fun going on these trips and you want to uh, learn some hunts and uh, how to hunt and all that good stuff, like, subscribe, ring that bell, and leave a comment. And for now, my friends, Nugget Shooter out.